This educational video is prepared by fulfillment of the requirements for EKC 316 separation process course. Hello there. In this video, we will show you how to design a cooling tower. The problem is given as shown. First, identify the data given based on highlighted words and draw a free body diagram. Next, on psychrometric chart, find the absolute humidity value by using wet bulb and dry bulb temperature. Then, construct a table with temperature range between wet bulb and hot water temperature by using equation given, which consists of vapor pressure of water, absolute humidity, and enthalpy of vapor gas mixture. Next, plot a graph of H prime versus T then locate point Q at point 30 and 78.72. After that, draw a tangent to the equilibrium line through point Q. Next step, obtain the slope of the tangent to calculate the minimum airflow rate and the actual airflow rate. Given TL2, 45 degrees Celsius, calculate the value of H2 prime. Locate point P, upper terminal point of operating line, then join point P to point Q. From the equation given, in the question, calculate the slope of tie lines. Then, to construct a tie line, two points are needed, one at point Q, while the other point is obtained by calculating H prime at temperature 28 degrees Celsius. This tie line must intercept the equilibrium line at point T L I and H I. More tie line are then drawn parallel to each other. Construct a table consists of T L H prime T L I H I prime and one over H I prime minus H prime, where the values are obtained from the graph. After that, M T G is calculated using trapezoidal method by using the data obtained from the previous table. Alternatively, by plotting the graph of 1 over h i prime minus h prime against h prime, the number of transfer unit and tg can be obtained by calculating the area under the curve. Finally, calculate height of a transfer unit, htg, to obtain zac, the packed height. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Group 4.